Welcome to another episode of Turning the Verge. I'm Crystal Nettles and my guest today is Deanna Collins. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Very cool. So I understand you are developing a television show. Yes. yes. It's, um, it's all about opening the doors to living a healthy, confident, adventurous life for people with disabilities. And I'm sure everyone can kind of see, I don't know how far <laughs> the camera has panned out, but you are in a wheelchair, yes. have you been um, in a wheelchair your entire life? Yes, in fact, um, I was born with a disability. Um, I had a hemorrhage in my spine. Um, that makes it so I basically can't feel from my chest down. And so I've always had it and, you know, have always just gone out and done everything I've wanted to do. Thankfully, my parents brought me up to um, not see it as a hindrance, but to, you know, make it work and, and enjoy life still. And is that basically kind of the premise, the premise of the show? Yes, yes, because, you know, I was growing up, because I grew up disabled, um, I noticed a lot of things were missing on TV. You know, I didn't see any kind of role models for people like myself, and I felt like, you know, there should be, there should be more out there to, encourage people like myself to get out there and you know I have friends who are surfing and race car driving and doing some really amazing things and you don't see it unless it's you know a segment you know a flash of a segment on a news station mm -hmm. or on you know some other kind of magazine show where it's just one little blurb but I think there needs to be a whole show that really focuses on all the positives and you know empowering people with disabilities. That makes complete sense because <laughs> no, you see it on TV and it's kind of like look how amazing this person is as opposed to hey they're just living their life there's yeah. nothing strange about being able to do this. Yeah well and and there are people who have disabilities who don't realize that they could even do that I mean there's so many people that haven't that that haven't realized that they can, you know, that they can surf or that, you know, even driving a car. I've had people come up to me at the gas station and like, I'm so proud of you. You're driving your car, you're, you know, and it's like, well, well, I wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. They're like, well, I have this friend and she's afraid and she hasn't done this or that. And it's like, you know, those are the people that I really am aiming for, that I really would love to give them a place where they can look every week and see something new that they can try or something new that they can do. Now, do you find that it's easier because you've lived like this your whole life versus suddenly having to deal with not using your legs? You know, in that way, I am thankful because, you know, I can only imagine what it would be like to, you know, to have that, to be able to do, you know, to run, to ride a bike and things like that and to have that taken away, it, I'm sure it would be devastating. I mean, I can't imagine if I broke my arm today, you know, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to push my wheelchair mm -hmm. to get anywhere, I'd be stuck. And I think, you know, thankfully I grew up with it and I, and I don't know what I'm missing. So I, and maybe in that way, I have a little something um, l lacking in showing that to people, but also because I haven't, experience that mm -hmm. it might actually help you know mm -hmm. yeah because <laughs> my attitude is always like you don't let it stop you mm -hmm. and I think that might help some people now has it always been that way have you always had such a positive outlook on things <laughs> my um yeah I have actually I'm just laughing because my neighbor just today was commenting on a picture that he saw on Facebook um, where I was in my crutches, I was probably three, mm -hmm. and I was sitting, I was in my crutches, and my, I'm smiling with my little pigtails. He goes, you obviously have never been, you know, depressed or let it stop you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I guess, you know, I guess not. You know, I have my days, like everybody, you have your days where it's like, uh, you know, why am I, why does this have to be like this? But, you know, you just, you can't dwell there 
because if you do, it's like your house beca becomes your prison. You know, mm -hmm. you, you don't, you let it take you over and that's never good. <laughs> so going to school with other kids that may not understand, mm -hmm. um, how, do you, how did you deal with that? Kids would tease me, but then I would show them how things work. Like I used to wear these braces that, you know, kind of came up to my chest and went down to my toes. And um, so they kind of tease me because I would walk with a walker and stuff. And so I would just kind of show them how the braces worked and they were, just, you know, they were amazed by it. And because they understood it, um, they kind of left me alone. I was like their buddy again. It mm -hmm. was like I was just like the other kids. So I think it helps, um, and I think when people, I'm, I'm so much that person where I would rather you ask the question if you were wondering about something to, you know, to ask the question and understand it instead of be afraid mm -hmm. of it or, you know, steer away from it. And I think that's the other thing that the show does is to answer some of those questions that, you know, everyday people are, you know, I wonder, you know, like the getting in the car, getting mm -hmm. in and out of the car, or, you know, how does how does one do this or that? You know, it's like... Because me sitting here, I've, I've always wanted to ask people certain mm -hmm. things because I really just, I want to learn, I want to know, right. but I don't want to come off as, I don't know, inappropriate yeah. or I don't want to offend someone in right. any way, but at the same time, it's like, well, how do I, how do I fix this if, I, or how do I learn if yeah. I don't ask. Right. And you know, there's always an attitude when you when you talk to somebody, you know, if you're coming from, you know, your heart or really a caring place, people are going to see that. Where some people might ask in a more, you know, what's the word? Um kind of a demeaning way. Mm -hmm. If you ask more in a demeaning way, obviously you're going to get the negative answer or the you know, the short answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think, you know, as long as you're really coming from a place where you care and you're, you're just trying to understand, I think more often than not, people will be understanding and, you know, they'll give you the good answer, the better, the longer answer. Mm -hmm. So. Well, that's good. And I'm sure people have had a lot of misconceptions about you mm -hmm. or other people using a wheelchair. Um, yeah. What has been the biggest misconception that you feel? Um, I think it's, they also, you, when you, they see the wheelchair, they think that there may be a mental de deficit. <laughs> um, and like I've been shopping and I would give them, you know, the items I was purchasing and give them the money. And they gave my sister the change. And it's like, well, wait a minute. I was the one that handed you everything, and mm -hmm. you're giving the change to my sister. What's that? Yeah. That's <laughs> so I think that's a lot of the misconception, or you know, just that I'm not able to do what I do. I mean, the everyday things. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, people think somebody dresses me or somebody does, you know, all the things for me. And it's that there's such a range of disabilities mm -hmm. that looking at someone, you really have no idea what they're capable of. Um, and that's another thing my show would point out is, you know, it would show the kaleidoscope of disabilities mm -hmm. and really how, you know, really never to judge what somebody can or cannot do. And now on Ultimate Access, you are, what is your involvement? You creator, what else are you? Um, creator, doing? producer, host. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm the all-around girl there. Kind of a one-woman <laughs> band doing it all. Yeah. So I do you... have a partner. I do have a partner, so I can't leave her out. <laughs> so are you currently pitching the idea to networks, or just developing a pilot? What we've actually process? been developing, like the package to um, to get it out to the producers, and we're also looking for funding, of course, to help mm -hmm. us with that. Um, and editors. We need an editor with a magazine format. <laughs> so people out there, if you, if you do all this stuff, where would they contact you? How would they contact I'm you? I'm actually, my that? email is ultimateaccessmedia at gmail.com. So please contact me if you have any of those. <laughs> Very cool. So we know what stage it's in. Hopefully mm -hmm. it gets to be on some big network. Everyone yes. in America yes. 